Hey yo everybody, XCI here for Let's Play of Dick or Die. We're playing on a hard. And I've gotta go back into the danger zone. Our reservoir is finally set up. We got a lot of water coming in from the right side, finally, which means hopefully creatures will stay up here. Maybe they'll get stuck in the water, spawn up here, and then come in through this gateway right here. So we're still getting some damage happening on our walls here, which sort of sucks. Um, I'm going to repair and then double layer these things with reinforced. That'll buy us some time. Also, I don't want to die by drowning. God, it was so peaceful. And it was like, I, I feel like I was getting so much done. Uh, not so much done. I felt like it took quite a while to get the base in a safe, like set up in a safe way. But I feel like so much was getting done without resaves happening. And now I feel like I'm going to get stuck in some resave loops again where I'm just constantly dying because I'm going into the harder areas. Um, but God, you can't move forward in this game unless you do that. So... I'm going to do that. I am going to do that. I don't want you coming through that section. Come up here and then jump here. Let's make it easier for them to jump up here, maybe. Like that, maybe? No, one more. There we go. That will be full of water, and they can just come up through here and come in. Okay. <sighs> Let's do this. I'm. I, well, wait, hold on. Let's keep re repair more of this. At this point this is at risk so let's just replace those and we're out of reinforced again because we're in a severe low supply of iron I'm constantly out of iron because I didn't spend enough time digging so let's get back over here let's pick a spot you know where I should go I should jump over to the red fern area and do that or uh, I'm getting a dumb idea <laughs> but I'm going to do it because I'm desperate at this point. I'm going to start down here and I'm going to go the fast way down. Yeah! Bloop. Yeah, right about that. Uh, we got some coral stuff down. I don't need so much coral at this point, but I want to get up here and I want to start in this area because I really should have just made line that up so I could just walk across, right? I mean, I, again, though, it's super dangerous for me at this point down here, though. Because I don't have the right guns for it. I don't have a rebreather. Ooh. Got a black piranha regen right there, though. I thought there was stuff right on this peak here or something. That's really what I'm after. Is Let me just check. Oh, half, half day again. <laughs> Already. God damn it. Okay, nope. <laughs> okay. Uh, black bats are okay. They get confused in these regions. It's it's the black dwellers. I'm so afraid of black dwells, dwellers right now, guys. I have no words. Like, the laser is just not good enough against the black dwellers. They jump around too much. I should have the dweller armor before I come down here, which is also really not helping my confidence levels right now. Uh, I need to... <gasps> All right, or we'll go down. <laughs> Let's just light up the area up here. Let me just get a quick look. Where am I aiming? Or did I see some gold at all in, the, in these regions? You know what? Here. Let's do it this way. Oh, shoot. I don't know why that confused me. Let's try to get some black prana regen out of this guy, too. While we're at it. Okay, that's just a hole. Nothing on you either. Right? I might as well take a look this way and then build a tower up. Is that just iron? Are you still... Oh, no, no, no. I think that was gold. I think that was gold. I need four, three or four gold for the teleporter. So, that settles that. Let's build ourselves a tower. Hopefully this will work. Thank you. And done. Ooh, that was... Come on, man. Before the bat sees you, what am I doing? <laughs> Just, it wasn't cold. It was iron. Oh, damn. Well, I'll take it anyways. But totally not what I need right now. Well, at least I have a fast way to escape. Come on, then. Like I said, they get confused on corners, which is great. Sonar doesn't seem to help them very, very much. Uh, you know what? Let's dig up for a bit. 
Oh, this takes long. This is very inefficient, actually. Super inefficient. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be doing this. Where are you chewing? Where are you above me? Are you behind, below me, behind me? Well, at least we'll have a, a channel here in case we have to do a straight run out of here. And since I've stopped hearing the chewing, probably a good idea to just eh, check behind me real quick. Come on then. They get super fast when they go straight. Uh, this is also iron. Okay, well, oh, aluminum. I'll take that before the iron. Copper, good. I'll go for that as well. I'll also unclog this, which we sort of need. There we go. Whew, where are we at? We're still okay, sort of. God, I can't believe I'm solo on iron. Like, that's the last thing I think I was low on, but I think it's just the hard mode made me want to move quicker on the whole base thing. Just because I felt like I needed that resolved sooner than later. Surviving on the run didn't seem very efficient. It was very dangerous on hard mode. And I just need a place to return to. Settle in on... Settle in somewhere to settle in and then be able to pull off some longer runs. Can I make that jump? I can't believe I made that jump. I'm almost at, uh, I'm running out of time here. I'll take this batch of aluminum and then I gotta start making my run back. So this is the pattern that starts to slow down the game a little bit, especially when you gotta run it. Until you can get a good setup going, this sort of gets super tedious. And I feel like I might go into like the, the casual series. I did it every two days just so that I didn't have to record me doing just grinds like this. I don't know wh which way to take this at this point. I like the idea of the minimalist run doing day by day though. Just because I like, I like that every day equaled an episode. But that made sense because it was always sort of dramatic because I was always trying to survive on the run. And so there was no real stopping point. Um, whereas when you have a base, you do sort of everything grinds to a halt even in the base because when you get it safe, and I'm sort of behind on my building stuff, I, I'm not building things while I'm doing the base. I'm just sort of hanging out at the base while I'm freaking out. God damn, that's a long way to go, man. And this might mean the death of me. I do find that if you push fast like this, you push up like if you push a screen up like this like consistently you sort of mess up the spawn rates oh my god or you get stuck like this and this is why guys you plug up your walls <laughs> so that you don't get stuck when you're in a rush like this but anyway, it messes up the spawn rate and they end up spawning below you and so they never really catch up that guy did there we go so the other good thing is oh god is that you spend most of your day on the run like that throwing things off so let's get them coming up the pathway here now flyers will come in through the left I am fairly certain that'll be fine because they're I don't have any ranged enemies right now so we're good and these guys have ranged attacks which hopefully this front loaded area will do I call this the front at this point because that's more like that's like an escape hatch into the like a chasm jump this is lasting longer than I thought that's impressive. Oh no, see, yeah, there, there, there it goes. Uh, yeah, these things aren't going to last. Unless you have other things sort of ready to go and take these guys out sooner, these things won't last. I mean, they will if you have a repair. If, you, if I set up my repair setup, yeah, these will be safe. But until I have repair turrets in place, uh, that's going to be at risk every episode. Just got to be here to heal it. <laughs> I am the repair turret. Alright, which means we're probably either loaded with piranha down there or things are stuck. So, there they come. Here they come. Okay, let's just keep this recording a little longer. Let's just see how this plays out. And let's take a look down here for piranha. 
there's something down here. Is it on this side or the other side? What are we doing here? Five piranha and here, can I get the piranha? Come up, come up, come up this way. Come up, come up this way. There we go. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You want to? Oh, I thought they. Well, you know what? It'd be. Hmm. I see how I could probably make this go better for me. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah, see, so if you can make the one more layer of water here, they'll come up and get shot by the guns. So there's that. Or you can confuse them like this. There's no point in killing the, them. They don't, at this point, they don't break through the walls or anything like that. Like, where are you guys chewing? What are you chewing on right now, guys? I hear ya, which means you're gonna... There it is. There it is. There's the breach. Every single time, man. Are we gonna do this every single time? God damn it. <laughs> man. All right, let's take your blood. And I'm gonna lose a quarter day again at this. I should just do this at the beginning of every episode, but then I lose the beginning of every episode doing this. So one way or the other, I'm sort of wasting time. I do like the fact that you can do this now. Well, this isn't growing anything, so my theory is gone. I think you need more than one layer of soil. Eh. All right, let's go this way. But this will fill up really fast now that we got this setup going. All right, no, seriously, I got to end the episode here. We're at quarter day now. I don't know how to make this better, but I need to get back down there, and I need to harvest some more stuff. I will catch you down below. Don't forget to explore, engage, and inspire, everybody. Peace.